welcome back. Um, so you're with Anne and this is Amy, your host. So two years moving on and now Anne's the villain yeah. and you're not the victim anymore. No. So what's changed? Is something, what has gone in your mind to be like, right now I'm going to do that to somebody else? Would you consider yourself as a homosexual, as a gay or a lesbian or is it just um, you don't know the difference between it's a man and a woman? I knew the difference because like you see your family relationships so I knew okay. like the difference like okay this is how it's supposed to be but then at the same time like secretly so to speak this is the life that I was engaging in because I never really saw like homosexuals because in, in Uganda it's not really I mean probably now it's something that's open but back then it's like something that's hidden you don't really know yeah, or you don't really see the comment so I knew like okay there's mom and dad there's that kind of relationship but I didn't know the homosexual side but I know I, like because of what I experienced I knew like okay these things do happen you know like the way I view it now in my mind because I know like the difference is it would be classed as what we call pedophilia of course so um that's that's the angle that I would say that it and is at. of course the angle as well that it could be said it's really abuse isn't it it's something that is easy to get away with because not even a lot of people come out and talk and say you know this is what i've gone through or you know i've been abused or so now it's coming out because if you look at the news like so many people are coming out and say you know this person did this to me or that person did that to me so yeah, yeah it's becoming more of a, uh, an awareness because now people like okay now we know like what's going on and stuff like that yeah and would you say that growing up it did it affect you and did it affect the way that you view things yeah and did it affect relationships and at what period in your life did you begin to see the effect of the abuse um let's say i was about like 19 at 19 um, I was going to college, having a job, getting in relationships, and then all the mental scarring like started. And then you know, um, I started behaving like a tomboy. So even though like I used to dress like a girl and you know, carry myself like a girl, but most of the time I spent like dressing up as a tomboy, girls' clothes, but in a boy's kind of way it became more of a mental battle that I had to go through so from around say from 13 and um, 14 going upwards that's when I began to really see like the effects of it like how it affects how it impacts you and um, being afraid of certain things and stuff like that and yeah. like, how do I deal with this kind of yeah you know, absolutely yeah. And uh, one thing that I just picked up on what Anne said is torment. the mental torment well, that you got from it. And, you know, uh, there's so many kind of abuse that happens, you know, sexual abuse, physical abuse, emotional abuse, and they all carry a different kind of scar, isn't it? And yeah. You, you can go through physical abuse and you have a physical scar to carry that in your life. You know, some people go through such traumatic abuse that maybe their scar is they've lost their eye or, um, you know, they got stabbed by their boyfriend or husband and they've got that scar to remind them how the mental scar, the behaviours that started to come through from that those experiences. Um, the mental scarring the, uh, from the experiences of the mental scarring, obviously having no one mm. to talk to and say, you know, this is what has happened. I dived into pornography. Okay. Until I started watching that like, pornography, anything sexual was just like interesting. And so I went into the life of watching pornography in whether it's um, videos, magazines things like that and then and how i mean to see a question but how do you access them um easy especially when you have um 
sky channels or through internet you know having brothers we just not trying to expose them but um we're not trying to expose <laughs> you but um <laughs> but um yeah so we just like used to watch it like videos and stuff like so you that, used to so. watch it together yes and then it went into a promiscuous lifestyle obviously having relationship after relationship and stuff like so, that so because it seems with Anne as I'm hearing this it's almost like you're going from one place to another place to another place and it's like you're have you lost yourself at that point do you even know who Anne is or do you feel like you're confident like you know who Anne is are you living the illusion or are you living the reality? Um, let's just say illusion because it's like you think you know yourself but it's like a mixture of it's like you don't deny yourself of the things that you like or the of things course, that you yeah. enjoy that is a reality Why do you think pornography is like the number one on the list? Um, because it's like it takes you to a fantasy world okay. that you know you can't if you can't do the physical then you go for pornography the option because it's like um, obviously people a lot of people who watch pornography know that there's different grades and so it's like it takes you to a fantasy world the things that you can't do physically around people or with people you watch it on pornography so yeah and being um a tomboy and a girl did you do you think that there is a difference when you watch it as a guy and as a girl or is it just you just watch it it's the same content it's the same effect um it's the same effect it's the same content but obviously there's different there's different ones so it's like when I was with my brothers, I'd watch the guys, what the guys watch. But then when I was by myself, I watched the homosexual side of things. So you watched the girl? Yeah, the girl. Is that, why do you think that is? Um, because obviously it's like I wanted to portray a normal sort of relationship or yeah desire for relationship and stuff like that but then it's like not wanting to unveil obviously like the perverse side of my life so to speak at the time hey, abusive relationships marriages that fail there's a